It's 3-0 and versus 2-1. and A good early season battle as we're underway in week four. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Tug of Iloa. He finds his man complete. It's back. Finding space at the 40. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. A good start offensively. 15 yards on the game's initial play. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Going to the air. Tug of Iloa. Can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. So after the sack, here's second and 14. Lewis between the tackles. Yeah, nothing doing here as this time the run maybe gets him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. Call it no gain there, and it brings forth a third and long. They need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. I don't see one of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. He gets us away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Throwing is Jackson. That throw taken in by Jamison Williams. And they'll be stopped at the 28. On a play that started at the 14, they pick up 14. Play action. It's Jackson. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. And that's out to the flat for Swift. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. They go play action now. Jackson. 
And this is dropped. Oh, boy. A chance for a big play early, but he could not secure it. Fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Shotgun handoff for Lewis. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. The Dolphins at two and one now to start the campaign. And they were looking good until last week's loss took them from the ranks of the unbeaten. Yeah, I don't think anyone was expecting this team to push the 72 Dolphins, but still, you got to take a lot of positives from this first month. If they can bounce back and move to three and one, They'll be pretty well set up for the remainder of the season to follow. And this passing game's whole offense really didn't show up in the loss last week, and it hasn't started all that great here either. Yeah, they can't let that incompletion become an uh-oh moment. Like, oh boy, here we go again, just like last week. Each game is its own entity, treated as such. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. They'll wind up losing three here on the play, and that'll make it third and 13. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. On third and long, it's Tugabailoa. Got a man, it's Waddle complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. They fake the handoff. Now Tua on the move to his left. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Tua going to throw. Caught right side. It's Lewis. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. Two are going to tap this forward on the jet sweep. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. This defense not fooled one bit on that touch pass. And this has become one of those kind of in vogue plays, you know, kind of like the shuffle pass was a few years ago. This one never got off the ground, but you understand why a lot of teams are running it. These wide receivers, a lot of them, they run like running backs with the ball in their hands. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. It's a short one here. Complete to the tight end. Yeah, this defense rallies, and they stop him short of the first down right near the 24. So eight yards on the completion there, and that's going to make it fourth down. Sanders' kick is good, and the Dolphins will jump out to a 3-0 lead. So after drive number three, we have a score, and it's three points after the field goal. I would say the feeling out process for both these teams, I'd say it's over, partner. Everyone understands what's going on now. You've got to probe a little bit. Now you want to start throwing the big shots. First three points up on the board could be significant. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, 
They had to punt it away. This time hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. The Lions with the football here to begin the second quarter. As they've got it second down and 12. Once again, it's Swift. Room here to run. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. Pretty explosive run on that inside handoff. And when you're a runner of his caliber, you don't need a big crease. You really don't. But also what we're seeing is an offensive line that's taking charge at the point of attack, aren't we? Not only they're controlling the initial contact, they're actually utilizing what they call the strain the next two to three seconds to continue to move people. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. And now Jackson will look to throw it. He's airing it out for Williams. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. For all the deserved accolades Lamar Jackson gets for his running prowess, you know, his deep ball, it's really a thing to behold as well. And as that ball was hanging in the air with the receiver streaking downfield to meet it, here in the stadium, you could just sense the crowd thinking, oh, no. And their worst fears were realized as that one turned into a long touchdown. And to put a bow on it, next-gen stats saying that traveled an even 66 yards in the air. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And last time able to get three. That's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've you described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. And some room to maneuver. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. 17 yards for the Dolphins there as they got themselves a first down. Hold on a second. Was that the fullback? That was the fullback. Who says it? The slot receivers. But all you guys can catch the football and get big yardage after the catch. Really nice job there. Showing good hands and an ability to get upfield. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be second down. Let's go. Dobbins running out of the gun. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looked like even if he had opted to keep that, I don't think there was going to be much to gain. Seemed like it was perfectly defense. You know what they say? Those guys on the other side, they get paid too. Sets up the screen to Lewis. And some space here. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches. And they're trying to create one there. Getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space. Let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. To his throw, taken in by Thornton. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Here's a give. Lewis running left. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 12 more yards there and another first down. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because of Apple's left tackle, doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big game. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. Tyreek Hill, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins are once again back in front. A 
good hold in these wet conditions. The point after is up and good. And the lead is now 10-7. to seven. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Two minutes remaining in the first half, 10-7, our score. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll send you up to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there, and he'll have stats and scores from a busy Sunday in the NFL. Looking to throw again on second down. Jackson, a hit as he throws there, incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. They go play action with Jackson. Wide open receiver complete. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun, and they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short. And they're going to get him. He's saved back around the 28. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Seventh play of this drive coming up, and a long way to go on third down. Jackson. And that is incomplete. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now, since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle, and that will knot us up at 10. So chalk that down as an eight-play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. This will be fielded inside the five. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And with a little under a minute to play, they may be looking to pick up some yardage here, maybe try and come up with a field goal to seize the lead before intermission. Two and now on first down. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. A wise move there, looked like nobody open, now second down. Oh, I saw this one with defensive eyes because even as he escaped the pocket and bought time, the coverage stayed tight. Nothing broke down. Throwing it away, that was his only option. A second down run with Lewis. And he's got some space here. And he will finally be wrestled down at the Lions' 35-yard line. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Hey, check On the ball. Ready? 
On first down, Tonga Bailoa. Open man, this is Lewis. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. A great effort there. 35 yards. And the Dolphins will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point on being good by Sanders. And that makes it a 17 10 score. Now, after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. A slim deficit here, a one possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Play action. Now Jackson. And he's going to hook up with his big tight end. Complete. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. We're looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Jackson on first down. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. From the gun, Jackson. Flight and a big loss here as he's taken down. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. A tough spot here as they approach the line of scrimmage. A long way to go to try to pick up this first down. He's airing it out for Williams. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. That has been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. 45 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. That's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the choking. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there, about to break a big one. Jackson looking to throw on third. Goes to the out route and completes it to Swift. And he is going to have a Lions first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches.
They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before, he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. From the gun, here's Swift. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Two yards the loss, second and 12. But they're certainly not neglecting their run duties as well as they ate up the blockers in front and allowed the secondary to get home. On second and 12, Jackson. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine, and they need 10 yards out of it on third. Now it's Jackson. And that is incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice, an ambitious effort, but it's well short, and this will stay at a seven-point game. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Play action, now it's Tua. Escaping the pressure right. And he rifles one incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no game. Run the ball, run the ball. Cut, cut. They run with Lewis out of the gun. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Force the completion on first down, and you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. And he will find his man on the outside. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now a play fake. Here's Tug of Iloa. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on that. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. But this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and 10. Nice run on second and 10 when probably everyone was expecting him to throw the football. Now if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. Now Lewis here on first down, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Here's Tua. Steps away to his left. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill complete. Touchdown, Tyreek Hill. 
Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Dolphins have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And a lead now up to 14. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Credit the secondary, credit the defensive game plan. They've been in his hip pocket all game long. They understood coming in that he was a big time receiver. On third down, Jackson. They'll roll him out right. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable. And that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat. And if he flushes out, they're fine with that. And they force another incompletion. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And it'll be Dolphin football. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. This is sort of what you would call the put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call it. And this will be caught at the 30. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Well, he has been fun to watch throwing the football on this one. And certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up the secondary. A clinic on how to attack the defense and take them out of the game. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball. Some got a man that's caught inside the 10. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. Jamison Williams with career touchdown number 126, the same number Jim Brown had during his nine-year career. And the Lions are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. Point after, right down the middle. And they won't be able to run another play. Time has expired. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Partner, one thing I was lousy at growing up, track and field, I could never anticipate the start before a race, but how about that backer? He figured it out, jumped the count, and turned it into a really nice play for his defense. Now he dumps this off over the middle, and down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. Ready? 
On the handoff, here's Lewis running right. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that will work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? From just shy of midfield, Tua. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They're going deep for Hill. This is caught inside the 15. They're all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Career touchdown number 145, tying it with Marcus Allen for sixth on the all-time list. And the Dolphins look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. From just inside the 20, a short kick. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Remember, they have won three straight, but getting to four straight does not appear to be in the cards as they are in a big fourth quarter hole. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Jackson from the shotgun. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. And this offense on third down today, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. But sometimes, Brandon, it's just not a secret to how things get done. He's been running well all game long, and they continue to rely on him in this key situation. They told us they were going to rely on him. They have. He comes through there a big third down conversion. Whoa. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. And that's to Alvin Ross St. Brown. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10. As they've got things rolling on this drive. From the gun, it's Jackson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. To throw on second and ten, Jackson. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Javon Holland. And the Dolphins are going to take over once again, and they'll have it at their own eight-yard line. They exited the pocket trying to improvise. That was a tough throw, and unfortunately, it wound up in the wrong pair of hands. And Brandon, when you're on the run, sometimes your downfield vision can get skewed just a bit. Now, the beauty of extending a play is sometimes your receivers find their way open, but oftentimes you end up closing down part of the field and bringing those defenders to the ball. He's got a man complete! Yeah. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. 
And going deep for Hill. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. A well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full play ball no matter who's on the field. He's got a man complete. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. That one looks like he'll throw here. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Tyreek Hill, a 13-yard touchdown. And the Dolphins have opened up a four-touchdown lead here in the fourth. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that will increase their lead to 28. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. This one fielded at the five. And he's going to be brought down inside the five at the three. In this position, trying to get back into the game. Teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover. They want to try and put points on the board. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And they'll get him down up past the 15, just shy of the 20. First down, and they go with Swift again. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Swift going to try up the middle. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. On second down, Swift. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. Now leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And the Dolphins beef up the secondary here as they look to stop them on third down. Here's a handoff to Swift. And he'll be tackled after a gain of four. Still three yards short. Fourth down. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins. And when you break it down, you know, this was just a thoroughly dominating performance. And I truly thought that we'd have a tight game coming into this. I think you felt the same way yeah. based on our conversation after the production meeting. But obviously not the case. And how about just how it broke open? You know, you just all of a sudden, whoosh, there it is. This thing is pretty much done. And the crowd stayed with it to celebrate because they're like, let's enjoy watching our team play this well. 